everyone so you guys are probably super happy that I'm finally doing this video and I'm so sorry it's taken so long but basically it's because I've been really debating whether I do it at all um, I know heaps of you really value my help and everything but the thing is I mean I have lost weight and I'm proud of myself for that but the thing is I haven't lost as much as you guys probably think I have it really isn't significant and the way I did it was really simple and obvious um, I do have a few kind of like tips and things that I wanted to say so that's why I'm making this video but I just want to say I hope I don't get your guys hopes up because you know it really isn't anything groundbreaking I mean it wasn't any there weren't diets involved um, I don't know, like I've kind of already said in vlogs and stuff like that what I've done, so I just really didn't want to get you guys hopes up. Another reason why I really didn't want to do this for a while is because I don't want people being like, you did it wrong, or that's so bad for you, or blah blah blah, you're not a nutritionist, don't tell people what to do, so please don't say anything like that on this video, I know I'm not a nutritionist, I'm saying what I did, it's up to you guys whether you try it out yourself, you know if you've got health conditions and all that kind of stuff, obviously ask your doctor, I'm not a professional, I don't know if this is going to work for everyone. So my body type, first of all I say, I can't remember what the technical term for it is, I learned it in PE years ago but I can't remember, but basically my body type is the type where I can put on weight easily and I can lose weight easily. So my weight used to fluctuate quite a lot between a couple of kilos, but these days there are only fluctuates within a kilo. Okay, my number one thing that I started doing, like straight away, um, well first of all let me just say, I started, I didn't even try to lose weight. I knew that I was kind of chubby, I wasn't fat. Um, I was never past a size 10 New Zealand, which I'm not sure what that is in other country sizes, but that's only like one size bigger than what I am now, pretty much. Um, so I was never a size above a 10. I am only 163, 164 centimeters tall, so I'm not very tall. I'm not the shortest person, but I'm not a tall person. Um, and I suppose I'm kind of petite. I'm not super petite. Um, I kind of have quite thick bones in my arms, as you can see. You can't really tell right now, but like if you compare my arms to like Kelly's arms, she's got really, really like dainty bones. But in my arms, I've just got really big bones, and I have quite wide hips. Um, I kind of have like a more straight figure these days. Like before I lost weight, I was kind of more hourglass shape. I had big boobs. And, well, my butt hasn't shrunk. I still have a butt, thank God. Um, I'm not happy about my boobs vanishing. This video is going to be very long. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know how to cut it down. I'm just going to say everything I need to. If it ends up being half an hour long, then so be it. I'm sorry. Those of you who really want to watch will watch it, won't you? Um, I just realized I had lipstick on my teeth. So, I mean, my body shape, shape has kind of changed now. A lot more narrow. Um, I've lost some stubborn weight off my arms, but I mean I haven't actually lost that much weight. So let's start from the beginning. When I first started losing weight, I wasn't trying to lose weight. I knew I was eating unhealthily. Um, I would eat, not necessarily unhealthy all the time, most of the time. I pretty much eat takeaways every day. I would have Burger King most days, Burger King addict. Um, I would eat, what would I eat? Cheese and crackers all the time, um, pasta. That was like the thing I ate for dinner all the time. I love to cook pasta. I ate it all the time. Um, just things like that. And I used to eat big portions. So what I started doing is using my fitness pal. I'll put a link down below and it's calorie counter. Um, not even straight away. Um, before I even started counting my calories, okay, this is my highest weight I was. And this isn't in pounds, this is in kilograms. So on the 13th of October last year, I was 63.8 kilos. I am currently about 56 kilos, which is actually under my goal weight, but I'll go on about that soon. So from October to December, obviously, like, I wasn't trying to lose weight. All I was doing was cutting down my portion sizes and eating less takeaways. I wasn't really eating healthily. Um, and just by eating smaller portions, um, not just eating when I was bored because I just ate whenever I felt like it, when I wasn't even hungry. I started drinking a lot more water and it was over summer so that helped. Um, and I'm just reading this off my, my fitness pal because you can log in your weights. So by the end of December, I was 61 kilos. I was aesthetic. I looked good in a bikini already, you know what I mean? Like I was, I don't know, I was slim looking already. You guys had already commented on it. It was just that. Over, I think, December and January, and yeah, it wasn't even really February. Um, 
I was like, you know, this is so easy. I'm going to try and get all exercise-y. I'm not a big exercise person. Um, I never really played too many sports when I was younger. I ran and I played netball for a bit. That was it. Um, but I have an elliptical or a cross trainer in my room. Um, and I just went on that for at least half an hour every day most of the time. I would kind of exercise maybe five days a week if not every day for half an hour or I would exercise for like an hour just I like got adrenaline I could go forever I'm not unfit you know I can run easy so I did that um, I didn't really see faster results from doing that but it just toned up my legs a bit that was about it um, as far as other exercises I did crunches and I did push-ups and that was it really. This is what I mean, I feel real bad real because I didn't do any like revolutionary stuff, you know. Basically if you eat healthy, cut down your portions and you exercise most days, you're going to see results like even, I don't know, you don't even have to exercise to lose weight. Like at first all I did was cut out unnecessary portions. Okay, anyways. And um, over just after Christmas time or like before Christmas, after Christmas, I started really making sure my calories were on track. I used my fitness pal to log everything I ate and made sure that I stuck to my calories for the day. Um, and when you sign up to the website, it'll tell you how many you can have. I can't remember how many I was supposed to have. I don't use it anymore. Um, but it'll tell you how many you're supposed to have, how much fat you're supposed to have, how much sugar you're supposed to have. So I stuck to that. Um, what I ate was pretty much, I ate lots of fruit. Um, I ate... This was back when I didn't really like vegetables that much. I'll tell you about my diet now at the end. Um, I used to make, like, toasted sandwiches every day for, like, lunch. Just, like full of like tomato, a little bit of ham, like fat free ham, or chicken, like shredded chicken. I put in tons of onion, tomato, I'd always add cheese. I mean, I was not at the point where I was like, oh my god, I need to lose weight, so I'm going to cut out everything bad in my diet. I don't think that's good at all. Um, if I feel like Burger King, even now, I'm like, yeah, okay, let me eat Burger King. Or if I feel like crap I'll eat it I don't deprive myself it's just that I don't feel like it anymore it's just my actual psychological being has changed always had cheese in it I love cheese never take cheese away from me that was like my fat um natural fats not in cheese though but like I'd put avocado in my toaster sandwich and natural fats such as avocado um nuts fish those kinds of things, natural, natural fats, are really, really good, even when you're losing weight. Don't think just because it's a fatty food you need to, like, just, like, stay away from it because natural fats actually help um, burn down saturated fats. Saturated fats, like, what's in butter, um, like, solid fat, like, fat, you know, that fat. Um, natural fats help, help to wear that down. They're really, really good for you. They're good for your skin. They're good for your hair. They're good for your nails. They're good for your brain. They're good for tons of things. So I always put in some avocado. I love snacking on almonds. Just don't go overboard because then, you know, too much fat is bad. But, you know, if you stick to your servings, use MyFitnessPal as a guide to how much to have. Um, you know, it's good. So that's when I wasn't really eating healthy, as I said. Like, that's what I ate. I would eat the same kind of stuff for dinner, like pastas and stuff, I would just cut down my serving size and I was fine. I mean, I, I, as I said, I wasn't trying to lose weight, so I kind of had that lenience, like, you know what I mean? Like, I could just eat normally, just eat less of it, and I could still fit it into my calories. And then for breakfast, I don't always have breakfast, I'll be honest. Um, sometimes I'd have cereal. I always, always, always drink the green top milk, which is like the like real fat-free milk, because that's the one that I reckon tastes the best. I've always drunk that. I don't like the taste of full fat milk. I did use like, I like started doing things I never used to do, like when I cooked lasagna, I would like drain every bit of fat out of it. You can rinse the meat with like boiling water to get all the fat off of it. Um, sometimes I would substitute pasta for like eggplant. Um, I started eating salads a bit more for dinner because it was summer anyway, I did it anyway. That was just natural for me. What I eat now, I'll just say quickly, this is all over the place, I'm so sorry. I wanted to really sit down and make this really structured but I've been actually getting a really hard time from some people on my YouTube channel like, like commenting and being really really mean and like, not like they're doing it on purpose, but it made me feel real bad and it just like got to me because people were like, oh, she doesn't want to tell you, she's being real rude about it, blah, blah, blah. And I felt real bad and because like, I've been saying for ages I was going to do it. It's just, I don't know, it's really touchy for me if you can't tell. I'm really sorry if this is a really bad video. I'm just doing the best I can. 
So what I eat now, um, well this kind of fits into how I keep the weight off. Like, really? I haven't really, like, lost weight. Like, I've kind of just lost that little bit of natural amount that would come off naturally just by cutting down portion sizes and eating better. Um, because now I just... And this is how I got underneath my goal weight. My goal weight was 57 kilos and now I'm like 56. Between 56 and 57, so it's not too bad. I don't want to lose any more weight. I'm not trying to lose weight. This kind of came off anyway. That's another thing. I don't exercise barely ever anymore. I just walk a lot and I always park far away from Uco, so I walk to Uco, and that's all the exercise I really do anymore. I don't have time to go on my elliptical. Well, I probably do, but I'm just too lazy. Like, I have such busy days with Uco, with filming videos, with working, with having a social life that I can never be bothered going on my elliptical for like half an hour or an hour or anything. Like, every now and then I do it, but probably like twice a month. Anyway. What I eat now, if you follow my vlogs and stuff, you'll see I pretty much eat lots and lots and lots and lots of vegetables. Um, broccoli, cauliflower, my best friends. I can just eat straight vegetarian and I'm good. When I go out to eat and stuff like that, um, I out eat out a lot. Um, I usually just find things like salads or vegetables. They often do like vegetable salads or like roast meals. Um, I usually stick to those kind of things with like minimum sauce, like if it's dressed in sauce. I don't really opt for it because that's where a lot of the calories come in. When you use my fitness pal, you really see where the calories come from, and it's often just like the extras, like the sauce on top of whatever you're eating, and the breads and stuff like that. Um, I love carbs. I still eat tons of pasta and bread. I just cut down my servings. So that's what I eat now. And if I'm just having lunch, because when I'm at Yuko, I buy lunch. I have Subway, and like my sub is only like 300 calories. I just get like chicken strips or something like that with like barbecue sauce, lots of veggies. I don't get cheese, or I'll get a salad from Subway, or I'll have sushi. Sushi's really good. I ate tons of sushi when I was losing weight. It's so good for you. Um, I mean, obviously it's got rice, but as I said. I'm not cutting out my carbs or anything like that. I just don't believe in diets and stuff like that. All I believe in is the equation, if you want to lose weight, is, what is it? <laughs> Intake less calories than you expel. Does that make sense? So you want to have less calories than you're using. You use more calories, you use your fat. Because that's what fat is. Your body stores fat for energy. If it needs energy, if you're not getting enough energy, it uses less. So... If you want to like work off your fat, you just need to be smart about it and make sure that you kind of exercise it off. When I was losing weight, all I drank was water. Um, people ask what alcohol I drank when I was losing weight and I would normally just go for Absolute Vodka or something like that. I think Absolute has the least amount of calories in it. And then just Sprite Zero. Like if I was drinking any kind of liquor, I'd just have Sprite Zero. Every now and then I still had like cruises and stuff like that, but I preferred just having vodka anyway. These days I like rum and juice. I have juice now. I don't often drink juice because that's so many calories and it's a waste of time. You might as well just have fruit. It's so much better for you rather than fake juice. Whenever I have energy drinks and stuff like that, I get the sugar-free ones, but that's just because I like the taste of them better. Either that or I have Lift Plus. Like, I'm not super strict on my diet now. I know I've changed my habits and that's what's kept it off, you know what I mean? Like I know I'm not going to go pouring a whole lot of ranch sauce all over my salad now. I'm only going to have a little bit or I'm going to swap it for like something that's fat free. I also feel like these days if I eat too much, obviously my stomach shrunk since I've eaten less in my serving sizes, so if I eat too much I feel sick anyway, so I can't eat lots. I'm going to go on my Facebook and check all the questions because I can't remember. Um, so still daily my exercise, as I said. Um, if I do anything, it's just walking. Um, my body that I have, like the toneness and everything, that's just my natural body now that the weight's off. Like this is just me. This isn't me trying to make it nice. So I suppose if I actually tried by like, you know, lifting weights and stuff like that, I'd probably look bomb and I should do that. I want to like, after my study's over, I'm planning on moving to Australia or something like that, getting a job. I'm sick of what I'm studying. I'll leave with a diploma, I think. So I'll still have something. I just don't think that's where I want to go in life anymore. You know, I'm 19. I don't know what I want to do for the rest of my life. But hopefully, you know, when I move, I'll have a bit more time. So I'll be able to exercise a bit more and get on top of it. Especially in summer, you know, who wants to work out in winter? Someone asked, do I still eat the foods they bath me? Yeah, as I said, I still do. Whenever I feel like something, I'll eat it. And the thing is, just remember portions. Um, 
and in, as I said, I don't really crave it that much. Like once I have it, like if I feel like Burger King, I'll eat it. Then I won't eat anything unhealthy for like another couple of days just because I feel gross if I do. Like my stomach will get sore and my body just doesn't like it. How long it took to lose the weight? So yeah, that was over like, what, three months? Two months, three months? Um, and it's just kind of stayed off since then. I know everyone's motivated differently. Personally, I was motivated. Um, this sounds really bad, but from the people around me. I have a lot of people in my life that are overweight and I see what it does to people and I mean all you have to do is research bad side effects of obesity you'll see a billion and ten things you know like depression um, obviously you feel crap about yourself you know there's so many sicknesses heart disease all that kind of stuff like a million things and like I'm just like why is food worth that, you know what I mean? Um, I really try to stay away from like heaps and heaps of processed stuff now. That's what I mean, like I eat so many vegetables. I just eat Subway sushi and vegetables. That's pretty much my diet, apart from Burger King. That was my motivation pretty much. And also just summer in general. I was like, you know, I'm going to Fiji, I want to lose weight. Um, not really lose weight, I just wanted to, you know, see what would drop off naturally. Because I could always tell when my weight was fluctuating, fluctuating, fluctuating. <laughs> because under my boobs, you know, on your ribs, that's where I kind of gain and lose weight first. I could feel it and my actual boobs. I went, my boobs, went from a D and I am now like a B. Like, <sighs> it's so depressing. I have like no boobs now. Um, I don't like it at all. But what can you do? It's just what happened naturally. I didn't try to lose them. That's just where my weight comes off. Um... I also lost a lot of my thighs, I've lost a bit on my face. Um, a lot of people go to my old videos and they're like, oh my god, you lost so much weight, holy crap. But I think it's, like, I did lose some, obviously. I mean, I've lost, like, what, like, five kilos or something like that, I don't even know. But, I think it's also my old cameras, they were really, really bad as well, like, they were kind of, like, stretched out, like, the pictures were stretched out and stuff. So it looked even worse, and, like, the bad angles, like, I was like this all the time, or whatever, I don't know. I don't know. I'll try and find some before and afters and put them in the video somewhere, I suppose, but I don't know if I have anything good. Um, maybe I'll get in a bikini at the end of this video. Is that bad? Maybe I'll... I don't know. I could do it. I'll just say right before I'm about to get in my bikini on camera, I'll say, if you're going to get angry about it, turn off the, turn off the video. <laughs> Anyways, back on track. Did I cut out sodas? That's one really good thing. If you drink a lot of crap, juice, coke, blah blah blah, you know, switch to either the zeros where they've got no calories in them, or even better, just switch to water, which is what I did kind of. I never really drank that much. I would probably drink a glass of coke once a week. But I mean, there are so many calories in those drinks. If you just cut them out, like, and that's all you did in your diet, you probably already see like a slight difference in just the way you felt and the way your body looked. Like, so bad. Ah, someone help me. Supplements and vitamins. That's one thing. Um, my ex-boyfriend, he was taking caffeine tablets as a kind of pre-workout. So I did take them, I take like one every morning. There was only like 200 milligrams of caffeine in them, which is fine for an average person. I think you're allowed up to like 400 milligrams a day. Don't quote me. It's on Google. Um, but they're really good. Don't take diet pills. Diet pills, the top ingredient is usually caffeine. You might as well take a caffeine tablet. It just suppresses your appetite that really little bit and also will help you when you're working out just like, you know, last a bit longer. I haven't taken them in a long time but I really want to get some because I feel really sluggish sometimes and energy drinks don't cut it for me. I'm not very sensitive to caffeine. I mean, I drink these giant things. There's like no caffeine in these. I mean, in this entire thing, there's 155 milligrams so I might as well take a caffeine tablet but... I feel like nothing from these anymore. Anyways, caffeine tablets may help you. You could try it out. Obviously if you have heart conditions and stuff like that or if you're sensitive or if you're pregnant, be careful. But that's one thing that may help. Much better than diet tablets. I mean, you might as well just get caffeine. Diet tablets aren't that great for you. Blah blah blah. What kept you motivated after starting your weight loss routine? Um, well, once I started seeing results, like, my body was toning up. I think that's all that really happened. I just toned up a lot. I lost a little bit of... My, I lost some measurements, I think. I, I, I think I lost, like, five or six or seven centimeters around my hips. I lost quite a lot around my waist. I mean, that's what motivated me, like, once I saw my clothes were fitting a bit better. 
I was like, yeah, I can do this. This is easy. It was so easy. I mean, weight loss can be really easy. You just have to, it's like your mindset. Like, that's another thing. It's really psychological. If you tell yourself you like something, if you tell yourself you can do something, you can do it and you will like it. If you say to yourself, I can't lose weight, I hate vegetables, you are going to make yourself hate vegetables and you're going to make yourself not lose weight. Like, honestly, do you know that's how I started liking a lot of foods? I used to hate so many foods and then I was like, like jalapenos, that's one thing. Jalapenos are my subway. Jalapenos boost your metabolism. I would get like this many jalapenos. I put them on everything, every salad I ate. A bunch of jalapenos, like hot, spicy food. Get me like, get my motor running, if you know what I mean. I used to hate them. And all I did, I was like, you know what, I like jalapenos. I like jalapenos every time I was about to eat them. Not looking forward to it, but I like jalapenos. And you know, I actually love jalapenos now. It's so psychological. You tell yourself that you love a food. I mean, oh my god, I love chips. I love chips. Tell yourself, chips are disgusting. Like, I, I seriously hate chips. It sounds so stupid, but honestly, it really does work. It's like all in your brain. You can trick your brain into doing whatever it wants. It's like hypnosis to yourself. Like, honestly, I hate chocolate. I don't like chocolate. I used to love chocolate. I started telling myself I hated chocolate and you know what? I can't eat chocolate anymore unless it's white chocolate. But even then I only have a little amount and I'm like, that's enough. I used to be able to eat a whole block of chocolate when I was like, like a tween. So I used to be, before I started losing weight, I was a size 10. I am now a size 6 to 8. Um, I, when I lost weight, like initially I was only a size 8, so I lost one dress size, but these days since I lost that little bit more just from scoffing vegetables all the time, I can fit a size 6. That's basically all I've got to say. <laughs> okay, so I just had a quick look on my computer and I can't find any before photos to do a before and after. So I just kind of went through my Facebook and got some photos from like a year ago and then photos like a few months ago and then photos now so you can see kind of like the timeline so I'll put that now And as I said, me in a bikini and I cannot believe I'm doing this on camera. Not because I'm embarrassed of my body, I actually quite like my body apart from my lack of boobies. But I know heaps of, I'm probably going to get heaps of hate for this, but I know some of you will appreciate the motivation. <laughs> I actually have had messages asking me if, when I do a video like this, if I can show myself off. If you're really sensitive to this kind of thing and you don't think that females should be showing their body on camera, then please skip ahead a few minutes. But for those of you, oh, this is such a tough, I don't even know. Maybe I'll disable ratings, maybe I won't. I don't even know. I don't even know. And my bikini does not match. I can't go back anymore, there's bear behind me. But this is what I look like. I wish I had done this before as well to show you, but... There's lots of shadows and stuff, but... So, I hope... Like, I don't even know if this video would have helped anyone. I'm really sorry. Like, I just have to... I can't go pretend like I went on some fancy diet and I can't tell you all the fancy things I ate because I just ate normal things. As I said, like, I still ate pasta and all that. One snack I will say that was really good was Cruskets. The light Cruskets. I mean, I think there's, like, 60 calories in, like, two of them and you can, like, load them up with tomato and it's, like, a really low-calorie snack. Um, if you've got any more questions, if you just write them down below for me, um, I will possibly do another video, like, answering any more questions you guys have. If I missed it out, somehow, I'm so sorry if I did, but, um, I will do another video on my vlog channel. Any more, like, you know, videos related to my health, my well-being, my fitness, my eating will go on my vlog channel. I just wanted to put this on my main channel so that you guys saw it, because I know not all of you watch my vlogs. 
Um, so yeah. I really hope it helped someone. Um, I'm sorry that I'm useless. <laughs> I'm not trying to put myself down, don't get me wrong. I am really, really proud of myself for toning up and getting a healthier lifestyle even though I don't exercise as much as I should still. You know, just for eating healthier and cutting out a lot of processed things out of my diet and honestly I used to eat so bad, I used to just eat so much and I ate whenever I felt like it and I've changed my habits and I'm really proud of myself. So don't think that I'm being really down a, down a Debbie on myself. Honestly, think about it, you know, if you're finding it really hard to lose weight, just change your mindset, you know, and tell yourself you can do it. I'm like joking, I keep coughing. <sighs> I'm sorry that this video is probably like forever, forever long. I don't really know what else to say. Um, I hope it helped. I'll talk to you guys soon.